Hi guys, it's Malang with the Briar Home Buyers, and today we're going to talk about um, how to sell your house in Atlanta without a real estate agent. Um, just like a short guide on um, all the things you need to be mindful of to do that. Um, so the first tip or first thing to be aware of is that you need to do your market research. Um, a lot of different, there's like a bunch of different resources that you can use for this sort of thing. Um, you can use Zillow to get like uh, estimates, which I personally would use Redfin. Um, we have seen that it's a little bit closer to what actual selling prices are, but um, you know, Zillow, Redfin, um, you can look at what's it called, Chase Home Value. Um, you can call real estate agents and get them to do like a walkthrough and just tell you what they think the estimate would be. Um, just know that you need to know your market research so you know dig into it know what houses are selling for and if you want you can call us there's a link below and a form that you can fill out and we can give you a call take a quick tour of the house and give you what our estimate would be um but yeah number two is that you need to know your uh market which sounds a lot like market research i know but your market is a lot more, it's condensed. So think of your neighborhood houses that are the same layout. So if you have a three two, so three bedrooms, two bath, look at other three twos in the neighborhood. Um, you're gonna be looking at like their prices and what's the average selling time, what's the average price point, all that good stuff because what they are selling at and what they're getting, are, it's gonna be like a direct, influence on what your house is going to sell for as well. Um, sorry, our dog is really, really trying to get up in this video. Um, so number three is that you need, do you wanna get up here? No. Okay, so number three is to assess the house. Um, and so in this day and age, people are, are, they're obsessed, not obsessed, that's the wrong word. You have to have your house in top condition to sell it. That's just pretty much, that's a thing now. Like you have to have it redone, remodeled, um, you know, new kitchen cabinets, all that good stuff. Um, and that's if you want to make sure that you are getting top dollar for it, it has to be in its best condition. Um, and which, I mean, that's fine. You know, people want to buy a house that's move in ready that they don't have to do anything to anymore, but, um, you just need to be mindful, um, uh, of like what repairs need to be done. Um, just, what the houses in the neighborhood, again, you know, looking at your market, um, what they look like, what they sold for, and if they had any repairs done. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, but then you also need to be aware of key features that buyers are looking for. Um, so in Atlanta, it's really hard to come by, like in downtown Atlanta and closer to uh, busier parts of Atlanta. It's really hard to find houses that have um, like true driveways and sometimes people don't want that sort of thing. They want just a garage or they want street parking or you know, whatever. Figure out what people are wanting and what your house has to offer. And also you need to take photos and videos. So, I mean that's just how the day, this day and age is. We love technology, we love its convenience and all that good stuff and um, your buyer is probably going to want to do a virtual tour or they're going to want to have, you know, a way to look at the house before they actually go in for the showing. They want to have a preview and I mean that's normal now and if you can do something like take really awesome pictures or take a really cool uh, video that, you know, details the house and walks it through it um, like as an online tour, people are gonna appreciate that. And I mean, you're gonna get more views and more people in front of the house than if you didn't do that. You see what I mean? And finally, you need to try as best as possible to list it on the MLS. There are some brokers that will uh, just let you pay a one-time fee and they'll put it up there for you. But be mindful that uh, the buyer side will more than likely have an agent, so then you will be paying real estate agent costs on that end, but um, it's a good way to get in front of people and in front of buyers because everyone looks on the MLS. I mean, that's just the way it is. But um, just three things that we want to, I guess, let you know ahead of time if you're going to list without an agent or, you know, just try to do this by yourself. 
Um, number one, it takes a lot of marketing and it takes a lot of time and effort to make sure that your house is at the top of the Zillow page. It's, you know, always on the front of people's minds. And um, the perks of having a real estate agent is that they can do that for you. That's their literal job. Um, so if you don't have the time or you don't want to put in the effort to put you know to go in and redo those posts and you know, like it's just it's time consuming and, and I know a lot of people really respect their time and they want to do things more efficiently instead of saving money but you know it, it just depends on what matters more to you and uh, you also want to prepare the house um, make sure that the house is completely repaired it's in good shape that it is viewing ready um, for you know walkthroughs for showings and all that good stuff so um, if you also don't want to go through that sort of thing um, maybe a real estate agent or selling it for top dollar is not exactly the best option and that's when real estate investors like ourselves come into play and um, we can take it off of your hands at a fair price without having to without you having to go through the marketing and without having to put more money into a house that you're just looking to get the money out of if that makes sense and finally um holding costs so that is another thing that a lot of people don't consider um, when they're looking to sell their house like for some reason they forget that they have a mortgage to pay you know every month that your house doesn't sell um because I guess a lot of people assume that, of course, this house is going to sell within a month or two months or whatever. But, um, you know, you still have utilities, you still have all your normal bills, your taxes, your this, your that. Um, so, yeah, holding costs, it can really take you by surprise and really put a damper in your plans. Um, especially if selling the house takes a lot longer than what you were intending for it to take. Um, but, yeah, so if you have more questions, um, if you want us to come out and take a look at the property, you know, link